My name is Jared Vishatsion. I'm fighting the middleweight bout at LFL 9, fighting out of Fight IQ Amsterdam. Born and raised in Amsterdam, Lucien Carbin has been my trainer as far as, far as I can remember since I ever started uh, kickboxing. The time I started, uh, Gilbert Ivel was dominating the MMA scene, so that's like a while ago. Yeah, I always looked up to Gilbert Ivel. I said, that's the guy I want to be like when I grow up. Uh, that's how I got started anyway. I never dominated the game and I was interested in a lot of other stuff than getting into fights. My first pro fight was uh, on uh, WFL like six years ago. And now uh, I signed with uh, LFL. Well, at least the, the fighting game always gave me the structure and the discipline, becoming, you know, strong, resilient as well, and the disciplines I needed. How to use uh, my body, how to self-defense, because I have this uncontrolled rage inside of me that wants to get out. Instead of going into uh, fights out on the streets or wherever, you know, I started fighting in the cage and in the ring. My skills don't show when I'm in, <laughs> in a rage mode because I've practiced and practiced and practiced. So it comes naturally at, at some point, right? I think that's my Achilles heel also, to start, start thinking instead of you know, rage. I can be a very controlled fighter. I can be very outsmart fighters, you know, because that's, that's the whole part of the game. You know, you gotta be smarter than your opponent. You gotta think uh, ahead. You gotta uh, lock him into certain positions and from there dominate, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the whole game of fighting. You know, everybody has a plan, but you need to have a plan that counters that plan and dominate the game, you know. Yes. My strength and conditioning trainer, uh, Duncan from uh, Hybrid Performance, he helped me use my brains in the same way that you need to use your brain during a fight, uh, respond to any action that's happening, very uh, quick reaction. I used to do only technical training and sparring and these kind of stuff, but since I've been training with Duncan, my level of training upgraded. Uh, I know Tijo from a while. Uh, you can even say that we're friends because you know we've been training together for, uh, for many years together, but he's coming out of uh, Ruthless and I'm coming from uh, Fight IQ. So this is just going to be uh, Rotterdam against Amsterdam, I guess. It's going to be a brawl between Rotterdam and Amsterdam. I don't want to be sympathetic against a fighter, you know. I just want to go in there and just <coughs> lay it out all in the fucking cage. But as well as your training, as you're sparring, you have to be dominating. You can't be uh, emotional about uh, a fight. So as soon as that bell hits, the first and the last bell in between, you know, he's going to be my worst enemy. Uh, and after that, he's going to be my best friend again. So that's how it is. So he has a lot of potential to grow uh, as a fighter, uh, so am I. See who, who's the best fighter at that point. And it's going to be a banger uh, for the fans to watch because he's a technical fighter as well. It's not gonna end well for him anyway. I'm at least uh, training uh, two, two or three times a day. Start working out uh, in my gym, giving my clients some uh, PT classes. And after that, I'll do uh, some strength and conditioning, get my lunch, uh, and then I come back to the gym. And then after that, I'll do some sparring and some kickboxing. And then in the evening, I just do some running. What I think about nowadays is that, you know, I, I saw my, uh, my two kids smiling and, and saying, yeah, 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 daddy won, daddy won, you know, during my last fight. <laughs> Uh, beautiful to see those guys cheering for me, you know, where they were still up. I remember that from my last fight. So that's the type of, you know, the pressure is not about me losing or winning. I used to not care about that. I just cared about, you know, putting up a good fight, making sure that I've trained, uh, making sure that I've done what I was supposed to do. I need to build my record. Uh, my record is like uh, three and one now. So I, at least I need it to be that like uh, 10 and three before I, before I even think about stopping uh, fighting. More wins on my record. Definitely gonna see me come back a couple of times, many more times, definitely, yeah, for sure. This journey just started. It's going to be me versus him. 
and I'm gonna go all out during that fight, you know. I'm gonna give it everything I have. I need to, to set some things straight, get back in the game. I am LFL fighter Jared Fishaatsion. Watch me fight at LFL 9, the 9th of July, only on Viaplay. Peace.